Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to you all. Those of you who are here in the courtroom and those of you who are watching on the internet. This is a very special occasion for us all. The swearing in of Lord Reed as the fourth person to hold the office of Deputy President of the Supreme Court. We're particularly pleased to welcome Lady Reed uh, and other members of his family here today. Lord Reed, as everyone will know, is a Scotsman. And so we're also delighted uh, to welcome Lord Keane, uh, the Advocate General for Scotland and a former Dean of Faculty, uh, and the uh, Alison de Rollo, the Solicitor General uh, for Scotland. It's also good to see Lord Mance. <laughs> there he is, yes. Anyway, uh, Lord Reed's immediate uh, predecessor as Deputy President, along with other former Justices of the Court and senior members of the Judiciary uh, of England and Wales. And Lord Reed will, I know, be touched that four of his former Judicial Assistants are also with us. And I see that Lord Hope is also with us. So we have, in fact, got all four of the Deputy Presidents of the Supreme Court in the room. That's wonderful. It has to be revealed but although Lord Reed is now the second senior member of the court, he is in fact our youngest member, having been appointed to the court in 2012 at an absurdly young age. Uh, but that is simply a mark of his extraordinary intellectual and judicial qualities. Having graduated with a first class degree in law from the University of Edinburgh, he came south to read for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy at Balliol College, Oxford, where he is now visitor. His thesis was entitled, Legal Control of Government Assistance to Industry. I suspect that this is proof of an early interest in European Union law, uh, which remains a key area of his expertise. He then joined the Scottish Bar, being admitted to the Faculty of Advocates in 1983, and he has also joined the English Bar. He became Queen's Counsel in 1995 and an Advocate Deputy in 1996. And it's my understanding that this uh, at least was at the time, a necessary precursor to the High Court bench in Scotland. And indeed, very shortly thereafter, in 1998, uh, he was appointed a Senator of the College of Justice. He became Principal Commercial Judge in 2006 and was promoted to the Inner House, the Scottish equivalent of the Court of Appeal, in 2008. His interest in matters international is of long-standing and wide-ranging. He has, for example, served as an ad hoc judge on the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg, and he has the excellent French required for cooperation with the highest courts in France. But he also serves as a non-permanent judge of the final Court of Appeal in Hong Kong. While in this court, he has been the author of some remarkable judgments, especially emphasizing the importance of the common law and demonstrating its capacity for principled development. I would single out his leading judgment in the Unison case last year, a ringing endorsement, not only of the principle of access to justice, but also of the importance of the rule of law, not only to the users of the courts and tribunals, but also to the whole population. They need to know that the legal system is there to uphold the law, to vindicate their rights and enforce their obligations should it ever become necessary. That showed his intellectual integrity and his independence of mind, as did, of course, the dissent which made him one of the champions of the people uh, in the Miller case. He will bring those qualities to the office of deputy president, along with his considerable experience of judicial administration and leadership in the Scottish justice system. And I'm very much looking forward to working with him in the constant quest for improvements in the ways we work and the service which we offer to the public. The ceremony you're about to witness is relatively simple, but no less important for that. I shall first invite Lord Reed to come forward and take the oaths required by law. The first is the oath of allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen. And you will notice that he takes that oath in the Scottish form, for Her Majesty is not the second Queen Elizabeth of Scotland. The second is the judicial oath which you will have seen adorning the glass screen at the entrance to the court, because it sums up everything we do in a very moving way. I shall then invite him to sign the oaths book so that there is a permanent record of the oaths he has taken. I shall then present Lord Reed with his letters patent, recording his appointment by Her Majesty the Queen. Finally, having been greeted by each member of the court, 
Lord Reed will resume his place on the bench, a different one from the place which he has occupied until now, and the court will be adjourned. And so I now invite you to take the oaths. I, Robert John Reed, do swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, her heirs and successors according to law. I, Robert John Reed, do swear by Almighty God that I will well and truly serve our Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, in the office of Deputy President of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom and I will do right to all manner of people after the laws and usages of this realm without fear or favor, affection or ill will. I now invite you to sign the oaths book. And I have great pleasure in presenting you <laughs> with your letters patent. Thank you. I now invite you to resume your seat on the bench as Deputy <coughs> President of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. I think he deserves a round of applause. Well, yes, we sit down again because he has to take his seat. Yeah. But that concludes our ceremony. Thank you all so much for coming today to witness these proceedings. It's a significant day for Lord Reed uh, and for the whole court. That is why it is so important to have you here and for our proceedings to be live streamed and available for later viewing as well, all part of our commitment to open justice. The justices will now process out of the courtroom into the lobby where there will be some refreshments for you all. The court will now adjourn. <laughs>